Okay, in this uh, Flash CS3 tutorial, we're going to include sound with our animation. Uh, this is the end product. When you finish it, your file will look like this. I'm just going to play it through. It's about a two seconds, three seconds long. It'll start with the sound, and it'll have a sound in the middle. Okay, that is what you will be making. Okay, first step, let's... um. Let's get up some guidelines for this project in which we're going to add sound to a very, very simple animation. Um, under the word view, rulers, okay, our file size is 800 by 600, so we'll divide that in, in half, 400 by 300, okay, nice grid line, and we're going to have the animations um, meet in the middle. Okay, layers, we need a layer for the right block. We need a layer for the left block. We'll need a layer for text. And we'll need a layer for, uh, we'll do the boom sound. Sound, sound, boom. And then later on, we'll add another layer um, to the file. Okay. In the left block, okay, I'll move this to the top there. Let's get a square. And how's that? Okay. Okay, we have our left block made. We'll select the whole left block, copy it, Command C, go to the layer with the right block, and Command V. We'll paste it there. We will move it onto the stage on the right side and let's just change the fill color how about green there we go okay so we have our left block we have our right block all right let's go let's see this animation let's go to 25 frame 25 and on the left block insert keyframe all right move that um, block from its position here to the midpoint okay Go on to the right block, insert a keyframe at uh, frame 25, move it from its current position where they meet in the middle. All right. We will then create motion tween for both of those and test it out. Okay, so they start, they come into the middle, they meet right here. Also at frame 25 under the text layer, okay? insert a keyframe, grab the text box, and let's just very simply write, type in the word boom. B-O-O-M, boom. All right, we'll make that uh, in red, so we'll highlight it. Change it to red. We can make it bigger. Let's make it real big. All right, boom. So when they meet, the word boom is gonna come up. Now let's add some sound. Okay, so on the layers palette, at frame 25 when they meet, okay, so this is what we have so far, at frame 25, boom, this is where our sound will start. All right, now, insert keyframe. Okay, we need to get the sound from the library. We first need to put the sound into the library. So file, import, import to library, my file happens to be on the desktop. Here it is, boom, mp3, import to library. And in our library right here, there is the word boom. On the sound boom layer, I'm at um, frame 25 where my keyframe is, just drag it onto the stage. Okay, now, it showed up there, okay? We need to extend it. So let's go to frame 35, and we'll insert a frame there, and you can see the sound wave continue. All right, so let's um, show you how that, what happens there. Go to the layer with sound boom, right click it, properties, and down at the bottom where it says layer height, let's make it bigger, 300, uh, let's make it 200. You can see that the layer um, got wider and you can see the sound right here. Okay, so the animation will play at 25, the sound starts and continues for 10 more frames. Now, 
the blocks disappear because we need to add frames to those. So I'm at frame uh, left block, frame 35. I'll insert a frame so it continues, right? I'll go to the right block layer, insert a frame, and I'll also go to the text layer, insert a frame. Okay, so now we start, let's just, I'll do this frame by frame. Okay, at 25, boom, right there, the sound will play. And then since we added the frames at 35, they'll continue to be on the screen. And the only thing actually playing is the sound. Okay, so let's try this. Hopefully you can hear this when I do it. I'll make it as loud as I can. All right, so that is to um, add sound to a file. You have to get it into the library, put it on the stage. We'll add one other layer to this. Let's start with the sound, all right? So back to frame one, okay? You have the two blocks on the stage. Let's add a new layer. Let's call this um, start sound. S-T-A-R-T-S-O-U-N-D, start sound, okay? And the start sound, we have to import it into our library. So file, import, import to library. That sound is going to be a, a sh very short sound of an electric drill. Just real quick, I think it's about one second long. We'll move that in. You see in the layer, I'm just gonna right click properties. I'll make, I'll make that uh, larger, okay, 200%. And you can see the sound wave up in this area here where it starts off with the sound. So let's play the animation again. It starts with that. Boom. Okay, one more time. All right. And there you go. We assign sound to specific to start at specific frames within this animation. Thank you.